name is Ben and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear, you'll find crafting videos into making your own costumes, you'll find DIY videos into making your own furniture, you'll find how-to videos into all sorts of medieval camping and that kind of thing. We do videos for, we analyse historical events, what happened, who were the key players, and why did things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might want to consider subscribing. In this video, we're going to have a look at my research shelves for archery. I love archery, it's a great passion of mine and I shoot very regularly. I currently shoot, uh, I think it's a 70 pound draw English style longbow made out of you. Uh, absolutely excellent piece of kit and it is something I really really do enjoy doing it's, it's a, such a great passion of mine so I've got a bunch of books here today I thought we'd go through let's take a look The English Bowman by Thomas Roberts is a fantastic read it covers a great deal of uh, historical information uh, really about the whole the English Bowman the role that uh, that particular that the English bowmen began to evolve into in the the higher parts of the Middle Ages. Not a particularly expensive book, I, but I do definitely recommend it. It is so full of information, and uh, it, it is a really wonderful resource to have. Um, Arab archery is another fantastic book. Um, lots of great resources in here. This does focus obviously much more on the Eastern influences of archery. This is not a, a particularly sort of Western European book, but um, there is a lot of very interesting information there all the same. Uh, I believe Lost in Time now are much of the standards for the English medieval archer, uh, which are outlined in things like Arab archery and so on. Uh, for, for their archers and um, so you'd see things like how many arrows in a minute, how many arrows in the air, ranges, accuracy, those sorts of things, speed shooting um, are, are all quite clearly defined. So really good resource, Arab archery, definitely recommend it and uh, here we go. Alright, Archery of Medieval England by Richard Wage. Fantastic book. Uh, and this particular book focuses really on the Hundred Years War, uh, Battles of Cressy, Battles of Ashencourt, uh, those sorts of things. And it, it looks at um, particularly who some of these bowmen were and what were some of their feats and kind of like the, the, the... This was where the uh, English bowmen really began to become um, such a significant role within the English army. Really interesting read. Longbow by Richard Hardy. Interestingly, this particular book uh, looks at not only the military role of the longbow and also the social roles of the longbow. So in terms of things like hunting um, and that sort of thing. So really, really interesting. Some wonderful photographs. I uh, definitely recommend this book. The Medieval Archer by Jim Bradbury is probably one of the most quintessential books on medieval archery, I think. Um, and it, it really does look at, at, at the, again, the military role within the establishment. And because uh, it's, it's important to understand that not all of these archers were in the English army per se. They may have well have been parts of different um, mercenary, essentially, type organisations. Uh, like the independent companies and so on that they were named at the time. So, quite interesting and there were in fact guilds uh, established by the, uh, the English royalty who stated that, uh, for example, um, different establishments had to have so many knights, so many men at arms, so many archers, so many squires and so on. Um, so that's quite interesting to read. Uh, it's a really, really good resource there, the medieval art. The Composite Bow by uh, Mike Lodes. Mike Lodes is a, a, an amazing historian. Um, absolute, arguably, 
the pinnacle expert on medieval warfare, everything medieval warfare. Um, what this guy doesn't know probably really isn't worth knowing. Um, really fascinating, some fantastic imagery. Um, really definitely recommend that as a read. The Longbow, but again by Mike Lodes, fantastic book. Um, again, wonderful imagery, really good descriptions. Some, some very interesting facts um, and I guess it looks at not only kit and uh, but it goes into a lot of the other aspects that perhaps don't get as much attention such as blunt arrows and so on. Um, really, really, really interesting read and, and definitely worth the money. Lastly is one of my um, Osprey books, uh, The English Bowman. Really, really good read. Uh, again, wonderful imagery. Uh, and what's interesting, I think, here is that Osprey uses such um, really good resources, primary sources, um, and, and really does look at such an intrinsic way and such a detailed way a lot of the, um, the aspects of the, the medieval archer and uh, all the sorts of things that they would have faced. So again, a really great resource there. Alrighty guys, that basically are my research shelves for medieval archery currently. I would really love to know if you have a comment uh, or a suggestion. What's one of your favourite books? Uh, what do you think of the books that I currently have? Please leave a comment below. I'm really, really interested to know. Um, as always guys, please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video. Thank you.